whatever it is, the low pressure that we are tracking off the East Coast here, this is the Nor'easter. This is the storm that will be undergoing or is actively undergoing. Specifically, let's start into the New York City and the Tri-State. Back out to Jess and Michaels in New York City and get a closer look at what's happening out there. Just the impacts will be the same. So let's look into what's happening for you. Jen is going to be kind of taking you guys through the next couple of hours here on America's Morning Headquarters. We got a bunch of rain going on coast to coast right now. Uh, and I think, was it yesterday you guys were asking yeah. what what's you know is it bad to start the week off rainy what were the responses yeah i mean that was our poll question yesterday do rainy days and mondays really get you down um and we had a lot of comments across the board bobby's angel said rainy week oh, well. there we go <laughs> we did there we i just, don't mind rainy and his days check and is in the mail <laughs> <laughs> right yeah. best comment of the week Love it. Yeah. No question about All right. It. But we do have more rain. Right? How about rain oh. Tuesdays? Yeah. Um, and Wednesdays. Thursdays. Somebody turn off the hose. I know. The whole right, week? Cam, turn off the hose. That's it has been one. a tough one. Uh, all right. Thanks so much, guys. We'll check with you tomorrow. Of course, America morning, America's Morning Headquarters rolling on until noon. All right. Thanks so much for joining us here. We got a lot to talk about today. A nor'easter, low pressure. That is, let us know. Man, it's also very important to, to know beforehand how you're going to get those yeah. warnings. I've turned to the t text alerts. That really has seems a to help me. Text will wake you up. Well, not the, the alerts on your phone. Oh, you're phone, on your phone. Yeah, phone. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. We're we'll right back. Get even stronger. So um, this nor'easter is going to be the point of contention here for us in the northeast, and it is a nor'easter, and it's not bringing snow. In fact, nor'easters are just coastal lows that have that northeast wind. And, and that's really what it's about. It's all about that wind direction. You get the northeast wind. It's a nor'easter, and that's exactly what we're dealing with here for us. Typically, we talk about this along the East Coast, uh, so certainly uh, one of those things that uh, the folks along the East Coast are familiar with. And we see it happening, again, it can happen at any time, but when it comes to the winter, I think that's when it becomes more memorable for yes. folks because you add that element of the snow. Well, exactly. Um, but it, nor'easter season, if you will, starts in September and goes all the way through April, sometimes May. <laughs> um, and so one of the factors that you have is the wind, and we've got the wind warnings and wind advisories that are posted here. S uh, Southern New England, East Eastern Massachusetts, parts of Rhode Island. You guys are going to be hardest hit with winds up 50, 60 miles per hour. Yeah, I mean, that's some pretty strong winds that we're going to have to deal with. So you talk about winds like that combined, combined with the rain. And who wants to be outside in that mess? You just want to stay well, inside. Well, actually, we do. Well, okay. That is true. That, this is a good point. Okay. <laughs> no, but most people Normal don't. people <laughs> would want to stay inside and not deal with that. Uh, and you can see what's going on right now. Some of the steadier rains here are impacting us there as you head uh, close towards uh, New York City. But more of this is going to fill in farther on off towards the north. So Boston right now kind of in a bit of a dry area, but mm -hmm. it's not going to last that long. The low pressure is strengthening here, and it is going to be shifting north. It's actually going to be shifting east, too. Um, but as it does strengthening, deepening, meaning the low is going to be dropping millibars. And so as that happens, the winds are going to ramp up accordingly, and we will see stronger winds right through the afternoon, through the overnight, even into tomorrow. It will still be very windy out here. Man, watch those winds potentially cause some issues when it comes to power outages. That is a risk that we do face. You know, many people have heard the term nor'easter, but might not know exactly what it is. Yeah, we go behind the sides to give you a lesson on this nasty storm. Daring. Would you want to be, be scared? Funny. It is funny. <laughs> well, no treats this week. We've got spooky weather across the country with storms ramping up today and tomorrow. Let's take a live look out there from east. Nor'easters that uh, really battered the north northeast here over the past couple of years. Some would say it's a sign of things to come as weather patterns shift. Meteorologist Mark Elliott takes a look at the future of destructive weather. So, um, luckily, it's drying out. Good stuff. Know. Yeah, I still can't get over how beautiful it looks there. I know. Yeah. Wow, can we go there? Right? <laughs> uh, not the case here. We typically cover the bad weather, so that's where we'll take you. No treats this week. We got some spooky weather across the country with storms ramping up today and tomorrow. So let's go out and hit the, uh, hit the beach. How about Massachusetts? Maybe not. We, well, maybe we shouldn't because it's not the best <laughs> of times out there. New York City dedicating billions of dollars to combat extreme weather. The Weather Channel's Justin Michaels has the details on the decision and how it will help residents. Let's look at what's happening in the West because we just had, I mean, we had three storms come through. Um, it really, the last one added up to a lot of this, but look at all this rain. We just got in an area that so desperately needs it the most. Yeah, it stands out. Northern California, parts of the Pacific Northwest really got impacted by some of these uh, heavy downpours and, and these several systems yeah. that worked their way on through. It was uh, some heavy rain. Yeah. Needed it, but some of these areas got too much a little too, too much, but like places like the Dixie Fire, um, you know, pretty much uh, put containment on it, yeah. you know, with this weather and so you know can we say the fire season is over i think we can it's just you know what's the 
what, what's coming next yeah. is the question. I have a couple more systems yeah. actually to deal yeah. with here for us. In fact, as we head through the midweek, dealing with more moisture coming in with this next system here. Now, maybe not as powerful as some of the ones that we have seen, but still bringing in additional precipitation uh, driving on through. And we'll see another one for the latter part. Of now, the this time, these systems are going to be pointed more at Washington and Oregon, and that's where the bulk of the moisture will go. We'll still get some rain down to Northern California, but definitely up here is where we'll get some of the bigger totals. So there you go, Seattle. Rain for you. This is as we progress through our Tuesday. Of course, as you work your way east with the Cascades, maybe working through some of those passes, there could be some snow to contend with there. But you notice we're in that green. This is Thursday. We've kept this looping all the way into Thursday evening. A lot of green around, a lot of shower activity for us to deal with. Yeah, busy storm track here. So it adds up moisture-wise here, at least an inch or two of rainfall. Um, but even more widespread moisture heading up into the Cascades, we could get you know, four to five inches. Will some of that be snow? The levels are pretty high, yeah. so probably not. Got to head up there. All right, so here's your forecast in Seattle. We showed you going through the loop here all the way through Thursday. In fact, into Friday, we'll see that rain. But hey, just in time for the weekend. Time for the weekend. <laughs> Our poll question yesterday. Yes. Yep. All right. This would be your, your perfect week, right? Yeah. Keep it right in the work week, in the week, dry over the weekend. Although I could take one day less, you know, one day <laughs> less of all this rain for sure. All right, so we've got more on what's happening for you here in the west and the storm in the northeast and in the middle of the country. There's a lot to cover. The president of Purpose Entertainment, the group behind the installation, and uh, Christina, you also have the title of Ash, uh, really the inspiration as opposed to the more well-known space pioneers. Well, I know a lot of astronauts. I'm the astronaut wrangler. Having so exciting. Um, and the display that was done is an earthwork. So explain what that is and how your team was able to put this in and showcase it considering the weather in Atlanta, because that's a factor. Sure. Really awesome. Well, several STEM-focused partners, they, they really joined in to get the project off the ground. How can educators at uh, all levels really help guide women and people of color into some of these roles that, that may not see themselves in? Well, I will say, you know, there's a Colorado. Definitely. You know, why do you think there's such a gulf between who has access to the education tied to STEM fields and those who just can't get on that ladder to success? You know, you can't be what you can't see. Um, I love that you have um, put this out there. Yeah, this is a really awesome stuff indeed. I have to say, I love the background, the uh, background there of the, of the movie. Hey, astronaut wrangler Christina Corp. Uh, you can learn more about this project on the Purpose Entertainment website. It is suspect or subject, I should say, to the weather. Um, yeah, absolutely, always, indeed. Yeah. All right. Well, it's a team I'm actually developing the. F yeah, Justin, can you talk about um, the temperature? Is it cold? Is it raw? Because we know when we think of nor'easter, we think of winter. Yeah. We just think of raw. Yeah, yeah. Where's the snow? No, it's yeah, definitely not cold mm -hmm. enough to snow. Definitely a good day to stay in. Yeah, for yeah. sure, Justin. Yeah. Thank you. All right, let's um, show you what happens to that storm and then where else we could see thunderstorms fire up. Yeah, watching things very closely here along the Gulf Coast here for us. This is as we are progress our way on into uh, essentially tomorrow and tomorrow night now. We're going to be watching uh, portions of southeastern Texas into Louisiana, southern Mississippi, even over towards the Florida Panhandle for some strong and potentially severe storms. So storms will be going all night long tonight. And then again tomorrow, we're going to see storms on the move across Texas, as Alex showed you, southeast Texas. So what's happening is this big trough, this big storm, system, the same one that brought all the rain and snow to the West Coast is swinging in and it's blocked from moving east very quickly. So we deal with this weather here for at least two days. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, we've got the threat for today and then extending into uh, tomorrow as well. We're going to be watching those areas very, very closely. So here's what it looks up for us as we head to towards our Thursday. You watch it again, progressing off towards the east. It's not, it's not going to blast on by, as Jen mentioned, kind of getting blocked. So it's going to be slow to push east. Mm -hmm. So Thursday, we're going to keep that uh, and take that threat for storms just a little bit farther off towards the east. It's deep dive, yeah, too, it is. when you see a trough like that. So there's definitely going to be some big temperature changes coming in behind it. Out ahead of it, that will be all the active weather. And so we've got a low pressure system, a surface low, an upper level low. Both are going to bring some rain. The upper level low sinks around even a little bit longer. You yeah. know, these upper level lows, uh, never trust them. So yeah, you think, okay, the cold front moves on by. We'll get cleared out and sweep through. Oh, well, no, this upper low is going to hang around, keep some clouds around, and things a little showery as well. Yes, all right, so you see that forecast into Friday. Here's the upper level low. It is still hanging out over the Tennessee Valley. Then there's another surface low. This looks a lot like today, doesn't it? Very similar. This is Friday. Mm, yeah, so yeah. 
Yeah, it's not looking like the best of weeks here for us. There's your Thursday's threat for some severe storms, essentially the southeast coast down into Florida here. We're going to be watching you very closely. And then we got a lot of rain to go here through the end of the week. Today we're asking in our question of the day. Some great comments here, and it's yeah, good to hear that folks are, you know, really ready. prepared and ready. Good well, stuff. All right, let's get you into your Halloween planning. All right, it is time to get ready for the weekend. Friday's forecast will be a showery one across the Midwest. Yeah, even though it gets Halloween as I guess it's a Sunday. Yeah, it's like a Halloween weekend. It's a weekend. Right? <laughs> there'll be parties Friday. There'll right. be parties Saturday. Yeah, um, so just be ready for some rain in some of those areas. By Saturday evening, though, mostly start to see things quieting down. Clear skies from Green Bay back up towards Bismarck, and then on Sunday for Halloween, it's South going trick or treating with the kids. Forecast looks pretty good. I mean, it's cooler than it's been, but it, like this is this pretty is not typical. Terrible, it's yeah. Not cold. Yeah. 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 I think right. they'll be just fine it's in this part of the world. 50s. Yeah. Meanwhile, the north layer under your costume. <laughs> yeah. Northeast. Oh. Yeah. More rain. Friday's parties, you'll have rain to deal with. A costume with an umbrella would work out good. Let's get you into your Saturday. By the way, forecast. Jen had a great one years ago, right? You were. Um, Oh, I had a lot of weather. With the umbrella one, oh, though. Oh, Olaf. Olaf, yes. You were Olaf. That and was my great. umbrella and you had was umbrella. my um, snow shower. Yeah. <laughs> it was great, by the way. Yeah. you got to find a picture of that somewhere. Yes. Uh, Saturday evening, more rain to deal with here in the Northeast. By the time we get to Sunday, yeah. we do see it's most areas dry. These, these times aren't bad either. No. no. So, Halloween's looking all right. <laughs> America's Morning Headquarters rolls on until noon. we got a lot to track today. We certainly do. Busy, busy times out there for us as we watch what's going on there uh, on the east and northeast coast. Uh, the middle of the country is going to get very active later on today. The severe storm threat is very real. Clouds? <laughs> Rolling on indeed. Uh, we got you covered here tracking a lot. we got a big coastal system impacting some parts of the northeast. Uh, severe storm threat in the middle of the country, which is going to track its way east as we head towards the end of the week. All right, so today let's show you a